Hi Scorpio, it's me, it's Julia, I'm here to do your love reading. I'm sorry I don't have all these, you know, it's all lit up today because it's hot. And the less lights I have on, the less heat is being radiated into this room. So that's why I've got the natural light on today, okay? Um, I hope you're doing great. I hope you're being safe out there. Sending you much love. This is your love reading for today. Um, for those of you that are new, this is a Scorpio channel. Cross watchers, you're welcome here. Um, make sure to turn your notification bell to all, so that way you'll be notified every time I upload a video, which is every single day, Scorpio. Okay? Hey, yeah. Could be dealing with an earth sign or a fire sign here, or somebody who has both of those qualities. Looks like you're dealing with earth, Scorpio. The queen of pentacles wants to come out. Moving slow. Their energy is moving very slow, but moving towards you. All right, here we go. Let's see what will come out. If you're looking for a live tarot card reading between now and the end of August, you can call up as much as you want to. Make sure to say things are heating up to get your reading discounted every single time that you call up. Okay? And... Uh, to make sure, right, that you get that reading discounted. It doesn't matter how many times you call up, but you got to say the promo code, all right? If you are looking for Scorpio merchandise or you want a personal love reading with me, those links are provided down below. Ugh, I'm so hot here. Okay. It's roasting over here, Scorpio. All right. I love you. Let's get started. I call upon the divine. I call upon the white light. To come to this reading for Scorpio. What is going on with Scorpio? I feel, you know, you may be up at night, um, not sleeping well, thinking about how you're going to work on a situation with a particular person. For some reason, it just seems like I don't know. The two of you are just kind of missing the mark. The Queen of Pentacles. Or maybe you are. I don't know. We'll see. The Knight of Cups in the hidden position. In the recent past, give us one card, angels. What do we have? For Scorpio, thank you. The Page of Wands, the Queen of Wands in the near future, the cards are just turning over now. We have the Six of uh, Swords for your person, the Four of Wands for you, the King of Cups, that's you, Scorpio, and one for the outcome, please, one for the outcome. That was more than one, but I'll go check it out and see what it is. We'll take another one for the outcome. Cards down. Okay, somebody is blocking this love here. I don't know why. Give me one card for the outcome. The Eight of Pentacles. So we have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn is here. I also have some Aquarius and Libra here as well. So the Page of Wands in the recent past. Why is it here? The Page of Wands. Okay. A new beginning, but I feel there was distance between the two of you. I also feel that um, in order to make this happen, it would require both of you or one of you to have a lot of strength to make this happen. One of you also could have Leo in your chart, I have to say it. And now the Queen of Cups. So it's your match. You both love each other here. 
I'm feeling. Somebody here also could have a child. I feel Scorpio, this person may make it a little bit challenging for you. <laughs> the Queen of Pentacles. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Why is the Queen of Pentacles here for Scorpio? Ooh, the Queen of Swords. So you're dealing with somebody who's very grounded, very abundant, but at the same time, they also could have air in their chart. This is somebody who's very fair. They're very logical about everything as well. They do want a brand new beginning with you. They do see you as wish fulfillment. I do see somebody who's willing to fight for you here, Scorpio. Tell me more about this. They're very protective over you. Clarify death. Four of Cups. So, who's doing the waiting here? Why is the Four of Cups here? Okay, that's way too many cards. Why is the Four of Cups here for Scorpio? Why is the Four of Cups here for Scorpio? Why is the Four of Cups here for Scorpio? Palace of Wands. I feel here somebody may get tired of waiting for you to make a move here. And they may decide to walk away. Scorpio. Maybe you've been holding back. Or maybe things you guys just can't get on the same page right now. I don't know what's going on here. I do see the Knight of Swords here. So maybe you feel like someone's going to walk away and you decide to take charge and go towards your wish fulfillment here. The passion is real between the two of you here. I do see somebody taking action and going towards their wish. They feel like it's their destiny to be with you and you feel the same thing for them why do we have the knight of cups in the hidden position for scorpio the magician so you may be going towards this virgo or gemini offering them love they've been waiting for you to have take this leap of faith to have this brand new beginning they see you as their wish fulfillment i feel it's like when this person has pulled back their energy from you that's how you realize how you feel or they you do this and then they take action towards you okay Someone's at crossroads here. This Queen of Cups. Um, oh my goodness. I got to go see what the message is. It's a lot, a lot of cards. It wouldn't be a Scorpio reading if we didn't have cards on the floor. There's a tower coming here, Scorpio. And I don't know. Hold on.
What is going on here? What is this tower here for Scorpio? Huh? The Ten of Cups. You're going to get your wish fulfillment here. You will. If you fight for it. Got, you know. It looks like you, you're fighting for a, yeah. You want to take things slow, but I feel this may go to a marriage here. You got the Palace of Wands. You've got the Palace of Swords with this Queen of Yeah, you may be leaving a situation to go towards this Queen of Pentacles here. But I feel you're dealing with an Empress because she's shown up as all the Queens here. I do. Someone here is afraid of getting hurt again, I'm seeing. Um, it's going to require them to have strength, and I feel they will do it. Okay, that's what's hidden from you. Okay? But... You're definitely dealing with an earth sign here, or somebody has strong earth in their chart. This person is very abundant and very secure. The Queen of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands here in the near future? Why is the Queen of Wands here in the near future? You're very attracted to this person, Scorpio. Could be somebody with fire and air. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Somebody here wants to tell you how they truly feel. They have a lot of emotions for you. Somebody also here could be a little bit younger. Queen of Wands, why is she here? There's immense passion and attraction between the two of you. Okay, somebody may be trying to fight it. There's also stability here, and there's a wish being fulfilled. Somebody may be healing right now, Scorpio. Somebody may be really releasing the, um, whatever some kind of betrayal was here. They're walking away and they're finding their strength to really come into union with you. Okay? They may have been the type of person that was really uh, careful before, right? But now they're stepping into their strength. The Six of Swords for you. You thinking of traveling or leaving something behind here, Scorpio? Why is the Six of Swords here? Yeah, I feel like you're leaving something behind to have a victory here. You go from the Six to the Eight. For Scorpio. Could be with this King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. But again, from the cards that I've already seen, I think we're talking about an Emperor and an Empress. Yeah, see, now you're showing up with the, huh, okay, with the Queen of Swords. Before it was the opposite, right?
Do you really love somebody here? Do you have feelings for somebody here? I'm feeling. And it may be a situation that you're in right now that you feel is really a burden. Or maybe the separation or the distance is making it very difficult for you. Because there is love here between you and your person. Tell me more about the Ace of Cups. Really, maybe you live far away from one another. The Ace of Cups. Why is the Ace of Cups here? The Seven of Wands. Yeah, you may be blocking your wish right now. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Why are you blocking? Or why is somebody blocking their wish? The Seven of Wands, please. Why is it here? The Eight of Cups. Could have a Virgo that's walking away. Or maybe you're walking away just to be alone right now to think. We have the Lovers here. Somebody has deep feelings for you. They want to tell you the truth. So somebody really wants a commitment with you here and they haven't told you that or they feel a very strong um, spiritual connection with you or they want something long term with you the four of swords for your person the four of swords why is it here why is it here for Scorpio's person Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Yeah, I feel they walked away, but they're kind of looking over their shoulder to see if you're going to return and communicate to them. The Four of Swords, why is it there? The Palace of Coins. The Two of Wands. me about this four of swords maybe somebody is rethinking their abundance their home properties I don't know I'm seeing here though from the three of cups we go to the four of cups which means that um, Someone's been waiting for a reunion here. And somebody here is more well off than the other one. Because I'm seeing here that somebody is looking for financial assistance. The Seven of Cups is here. Some kind of confusion here. Or maybe somebody is worried that you're going to be some confusion here. I feel somebody may be walking away from a situation, whether it's you or them, and going towards finding love. It's the Empress here with the Ten of Cups, with the Tower. So maybe somebody leaves because they feel Somebody really can't, um, like one is more financially better off than the other one. The King of Cups, and it's a factor. The King of Cups, why is it here? The Queen of Wands, why is the King of Cups here, please? The Hierophant, why is the King of Cups here? Why is the King of Cups here? The Four of Swords. I feel you really want commitment with this person. You want to heal this situation. You see this as your happily ever after Scorpio. 
Yeah, and now we've got the Queen of Cups. So there is love between the two of you, that's for sure. Somebody here could be younger than the other one or comes off as being younger. This is somebody definitely from your past, somebody that you already know. Someone's being very patient here. You may be dealing with a healer here, Scorpio. Somebody who may be in the spotlight, somebody who is financially independent as well. So, the Eight of Pentacles, working on things, learning something new. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Uh -huh, your person may be doing that. The Moon is here. There's some things that are unknown at this time. The Ace of Cups and the Queen of Swords. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here for Scorpio? So it's unknown to you. This Emperor here may not be disclosing how they truly feel. But they got love for you here. Scorpio, you want to offer something committed, or you want something that's committed, something that's stable, you are going back and forth too right now. You're having a lot of anxiety as to whether or not someone is returning back to you, you're waiting, could be a Virgo. Things are stagnant right now. Things are at a standstill. But I see justice being served. I see things balancing out in the end. It's just somebody's doing a lot of overthinking when it comes to their wish fulfillment, when it comes to this connection. Could be this Virgo. But I see a reunion. I see judgment being here. And don't forget, we do have the Queen and King of Swords here. Okay. I don't see too much love here, though. I see a lot of money. I see logic between the two of you. Somebody just may feel this is too much of a burden. Yeah. And it could be somebody from your past returning, uh, Scorpio, who may have caused you a lot of burden, who may have lied to you, stole from you here, and betrayed you. It could be an Aquarius. So you're listening to your intuition, and I feel you are walking away from a situation. It looks like you've got a couple of people here that you're dealing with right now. Okay. So you have to have strength and have patience. Okay, there is something that's at a distance from you, Scorpio, that you're very passionate about to the point almost of obsession, but in a healthy way. Okay? And I feel you want to heal the situation with this person to take a leap of faith. Alright? Somebody's no longer at crossroads. 
But somebody's been patiently waiting for this new beginning as well, and I feel it's your person. Okay? So that's what I have for you for today. We'll take a look again tomorrow and see what's happening. Okay? You both have feelings for each other. You both want this. It's just that you both have to get on the same page. Alright? That's what I have for you, Scorpio. I love you, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.